Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog and happy birthday if today's your birthday. And welcome to the first video of 2024. Feels very strange to say that because it's still 2023 right now. In fact, it hasn't even been Christmas yet. <laughs> it's December 23rd. But this video is going to stretch over a little span of time here where we are going to be doing some very exciting wedding related activities. So I guess let's consider this the first video in the wedding series that I'm gonna do on my YouTube channel. I've planned zero about this series for the record, but I know that I'll probably be documenting the process of planning my wedding. So here's the first video. I actually have like multiple very exciting things going on. Now that I'm thinking about it, there's even more than I thought off the top of my head. <laughs> my parents so generously offered to plan and throw an engagement party for Connor and I while we're home here in New Jersey. We have been planning this for the past couple of months and we've put a lot of hard work and time and thought into it so far. So I'm very excited that the day is here, but also kind of stressed. I was literally dreaming about it all night and all the different things that could go wrong because it's a stressful time. There are so many people who came into town for this, which is is so nice plus tons of friends and family who already live here and something really cool is that Connor's parents actually came into town too it's their first time visiting my family in New Jersey my family has gone to see them in Canada before so it's great to have them here and it's just so nice to have the families all together you know Connor and I were talking about how lucky we are that our families all just get along so well and um, that we just have so much fun together. So I actually kicked off my morning at the gym, didn't bring my camera, because again, this is just like wedding focused. But my mom just went to go pick up Gail, Connor's mom, from the hotel that she's staying at, so that we can go and start to get our ish together for this party. Our first stop is going to be Trader Joe's. We're gonna be making some flower arrangements, so we're going to TJ's. I have a vision in my mind, and so I kind of want like a white and blue flower arrangement situation, but we just have to see what they have available. We definitely need some baby's breath for some other things that we're gonna do. We have tons of boxes here of stuff that we've ordered to decorate the party and we're having it at this restaurant So it's gonna be a nice dinner kind of situation. I'm very excited. It's gonna be a really good time So let's get ready to head out All right, we're popping into Trader Joe's see what we can find Okay, we literally just scavenged the flower section for so many flowers and we got lucky and found some blue Which is what I really wanted we have some greenery, baby's breath, tons of white flowers to add in there. I mean, this is an insane looking cart, you guys. <laughs> I love it though. Okay, we have all the flower arrangements done. I'll show you them when they're more set up at the actual restaurant. And then in here we have polyfill that we're gonna use, some other little decorations, lots more flowers, baby's breath. We have a vision and it's coming to life. I'm very happy about it. Okay, our setup is almost complete. It looks so pretty. So here's the flower arrangements that we made this morning, which just turned out so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with them. I feel like maybe I haven't said this yet, but the theme that I came up with for the party is on cloud nine. So we wanted to do something with polyfill for like clouds. And that's also why I really wanted to do the blue with the white flowers. That way it kind of gave sky vibes, you know? <laughs> And then yeah, we did polyfill kind of on the runners here. We stuck some baby's breath in there, these cute little disco balls. They just set down the menus, which are really cute and custom. I didn't even know this was happening. Jill and Connor engagement party. So nice. And then over here, we're missing one vase uh, that we left at home, so I need to bring that, but we're gonna have a third here, and this is more of like a just Paso Dorves table kind of vibe. And then we have this nice little intro, not intro, um, like welcome area here with this sign that my mom made and we have some more polyfill and we're gonna have these really pretty floating candles here which yeah, looks so great also. I love it, this is so cute. We are back home now from setting up. I am seriously tired. We've been running around all day today. <laughs> we thought we would have a little bit more downtime, but no, unfortunately not, which is fine. Um, and we are going to have some family come over before the party in about 45 minutes. So I need to get my booty moving and get ready, which I'm actually really excited for. So they're gonna film a little get ready with me for TikTok. So I'm gonna work on that now. I'll show you the makeup look when I'm done. I have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't bring anything all that special with me just because there was not a lot of room in my bag. So we're, it'll probably be like a just normal basic makeup look. <laughs> I don't have somewhere good to set you guys to show you my outfit maybe here. 
We can squish it in with all the presents my mom has wrapped in here. Okay, we just finished getting ready. Here is the finished makeup. Hold on, we'll turn towards the light for this. Pretty simple, cute little earrings here that my mom got me. I asked for these for Christmas, and then I was asking her like, what earrings should I wear? And she was like, do you want the earrings that you asked for? And they are so perfect. And then here's the little dress. I am so obsessed with this. I'll link it down below for you guys. Saw it on Pinterest and just knew I had to have it. And then I just have my little silver sparkly heels on. They also have little bows on it, so it's a little bow situation. And we are about to head over to the restaurant right now and let the party begin. Good morning, everyone. First, let's start by just recapping the engagement party. I did a terrible job vlogging. <laughs> Honestly, I was just like in the moment, there were so many people there to hang out with and socialize with, and I was just having the best time ever. And so I was really not thinking about the vlog at all, but that's okay, you guys got to see the whole setup process and all of that, so I feel like that's more fun anyway. And now we are off on our next wedding activity for this vlog, and we are going to be trying on some wedding dresses. I'm so excited. I'm going with my mom and with Kelly to a place in Asbury Park called The Barefoot Bride. This is more just to try to figure out a vibe more than likely because we don't have a venue picked out. We have an idea for what we want to do for our wedding, but I feel like the venue helps define exactly what the vibe is gonna be and you want the dress to match the vibe. So unless I see something that's just like absolutely perfect, have to have it. Um, this is more just to try on different styles, try to figure out what I like, what I don't like. I definitely have like some good inspo in mind, but it's gonna be a really fun day. I'm super excited. Are you excited, mama? Yeah. It's gonna be really Why fun. Why not? Yeah, exactly. And then something else very exciting is happening today and I'm going to ask Kelly to be one of my bridesmaids. It is the first person who I'm asking and um, I'm actually gonna ask Tara when I'm in Toronto to be my maid of honor. So I have something planned for her, something different than what I got for Kel. But I also wanted to give Kelly something kind of extra special just because she's really my other best friend in the world and I wanted her to like have a special position at my wedding too, quote unquote. I don't know the, the right way to say that. So I'm actually going to ask her to be my something blue. Um, so day of, have her wear a blue dress or just something blue on her outfit and be my something blue on that day. So um, I have a little box put together for her here. I actually use this website, it's called Box Fox, and you can kind of build boxes with cute little things in it. Um, and I wrote her a little letter and got a card off Etsy that said, will you be my something blue? And then the box is filled with mostly blue stuff plus some other little cutie things. Uh, a dog toy for her dog is in here too because it was just really cute and I felt like Winnie deserves something something also obviously. So I'm really excited. Kel obviously doesn't know that I'm gonna ask her. I feel like Tara has no idea either so I'm gonna tell Kelly not to post anything about me asking her until after I get to ask Tara because I want to keep it a really big surprise. Because I, I do think it's kind of like early-ish in the process to be asking people to be bridesmaids. Uh, these are really the only two people who I'm going to ask for right now. I'm gonna you know ask other people a little later but one I don't live near either of them and so you kind of got to take opportunities to ask them while you can and to I like I know 100% that both of those people are going to be involved in my wedding so figured might as well why not do something fun and surprise them with some cute little gifties so that's the deal and we are off to try on dresses now thanks mama Okay. I haven't even gotten to see it because it was all closed up nice and I didn't want to open it. Yeah, this ribbon is... Like, ruin it. Oh! This is so cute! I, of course, I had to get something of for Winnie. Of course, I'm like... <laughs> and I'm most excited for anything Winnie related. Exactly. So sweet. A little oh blue God, bottle. Cool. I tried to pick out little blue yeah. things. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I saw the this. Olive oil. Yeah. yeah. This smells oh, like good. anthropology. Because obviously I didn't yeah. get to smell it first. <laughs> you can smell it like the second you yeah, open the box. Yeah, seriously. 
love course. it. I love and you. I'm so excited for everything. I know. It's going to be yeah. so fun. My family. Wedding girlies. Yeah. Both of us. Oh, I, I can't cannot. believe it. Married at the same time. Can you believe it? No. And Connor and Dan get along so well. I know. Oh, thank yeah. goodness. Because they're stuck that together. Be, yeah. So That's they're it. stuck. They you better know. fake it if they right don't. Now. Hello from Toronto, everyone. Welcome to the last part of our first little wedding video here. First, let's talk about wedding dress shopping because it was so much fun. And I actually found quite a few dresses that I loved. Pretty excited about it. I feel like I've really nailed down the style that I want. So I'll probably do a little bit more dress shopping in LA. And then depending on how I feel about those, I will circle back to the shop in New Jersey the next time I'm home because there were actually some really good potentials there that I feel like could be the one. <laughs> also, can we talk about how just the front of my hair is curly from walking in the rain here? Crazy. <laughs> but I'm going over to Terrace tonight. I'm not really vlogging while I'm there, but of course I'm going to vlog asking her to be my maid of honor. I bought a bottle of Vuv, Vuv, whatever. Um, and I also got this custom label made that says maid of honor on it. So cute. So we're gonna try to get this put together right now. I'm kind of nervous about like getting the label right. I only really got one, one go of it, you know? And I think that she probably has zero idea that I'm doing this, which I'm really excited about to surprise her. Okay. Okay, okay here we are. Bam, maid of honor, it says kind of celebrate in the red lettering behind there. Down here it says let's party and then I put these little like champagne glass symbol on there. Oh, it looks so cute. I love it. I feel like she's going to be so surprised. And then I got her one other thing. Let me grab it and then we'll put the little gift together. I honestly just wanted to do something really simple for Tara just because like she doesn't need like stuff. I mean, no one really does to be honest. Um, so I thought this was perfect, really cute and then the other thing that I got her was this YSL lipstick and I got it engraved where, oh, hi Gussy, hi bub, oh that's such a good boy, <laughs> just coming in here, uh, engraved to say made of honor, let's see if I can get a close up on it so you can see, hi bub, come here, oh this is my best friend, oh yeah, he's such a good boy, good boy. Yeah, there we go. Made of honor. Oh, it's so pretty. And honestly, the color was supposed to be more like this on the outside of the bottle. It's a little bit darker, but I don't know what it'll look like on and whatever. It's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> and originally I had bought this really cute gift bag, um, but then I walked home in the rain with it and it completely ripped and was ruined. So had to stop by somewhere nearby. This was literally the only option. It's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? And this one kind of is like plasticky, so it will stay safe in the rain. Cassie, you helping? You're such a good helper. Bottle going in. This is such a big bag for like such little things, but I it will. And then, um, last thing I need to do is write her card. These colors definitely don't match this bag anymore either. Picked up for the other bag, but again, oh well, what are you gonna do? Tigers can't be choosers. It's all Voila. Yay. <laughs> the other thing I bought some gift wrapping for was actually just for Connor's mom. I bought her this really pretty vintage bracelet from this vintage jewelry store. I bought my mom some earrings from there. And this is what I got for Gail, which I thought she would really, really like. So I just picked up a tiny little bag for this. I also bought her fourth wing and iron flame because she mentioned that she thought that she would like them when I was reading them. So I bought those for her as well. <laughs> There we go. And then I'll wrap these in some wrapping paper. It's always so weird seeing the physical copies of books that you've read. Like, these just feel so thick. I read these so fast. Okay, and then last thing is just her card. I got this really pretty card off of Etsy, which I think is just gorgeous. And I'm gonna write her a little note on the inside. I knew you would. Okay, keep going. 
filling. There's more in there. Pull the tissue paper. And then off. you were actually gonna ask me for real for real. Oh, of course I was. I had to. <laughs> you didn't know you were gonna do it legit, legit. <laughs> had to. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, open this up. Ooh, transfer. For yourself. And then like flip it. See? Shut the fuck up. I don't care, right? This is adorable. It's like a beautiful shade too. Um, yeah, so I'm a little confused because yeah. when you open it, it looks a little darker, but it's called nude oh. sheer. So Wait. I think when you put it on, it will not be as dark. This is shocking. I'm hoping. <laughs> oh, 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 is it cute? Jillian. Yay. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. What the? It also smells amazing. Oh, let me smell. Oh my God. Wow, it smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's crazy, right? No, this is insane. <laughs> I can't even believe this is happening right now. I know. No, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I don't wanna look at this. Okay. <laughs> ah! Ah, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, we're popping the bottle. It has to be done. Never been more excited in my life. Yay. I'm also a little concerned. <laughs> as I always am. I know, it's always stressful. It's very stressful. Don't make a hole in my skin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> ah, there she goes. As it always does. <laughs> Holy Give me a hug. <laughs> I'm gonna hug you for the rest of the night. Yeah, true. <laughs> I'm not gonna believe this. <laughs> Clearly back in Tara's now, um, but it's a couple days later and I'm just kind of popping in to end this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I felt like I just finished editing the rough cut of it and I feel like something that I neglected to say is that obviously I'm not putting any of the wedding dresses that I loved in the video because what if I choose them? I don't want it to be like online and for Connor to see it or whatever. And I'm actually going with a completely different style than the dresses that I am, that I did include in the video. So just a heads up about that because as I was editing it back, I was like, wow, I can't keep like most of the dresses that I actually really liked in there. Um, and I basically was trying on two different styles. The one that you saw um, was ultimately the style that I think I decided that I am not going to go with. And the reason being just that like, it felt a little bit more like playing dress up when I was wearing those dresses. They were obviously gorgeous and I felt beautiful in them, but it just didn't feel like me necessarily. And so um, then we kind of started trying on a different style and I fell in love with so many of those dresses. So you'll get to see more of the style that I'll be trying on probably in whenever the next time that I try on wedding dresses is. But for now, I thought I'm not gonna put them in there because there were quite a few that I tried on and really liked and feel like have some potential so we're gonna see but oh my gosh i just had so much fun editing that video back seeing the engagement party asking kelly and tara to be bridesmaids and this is just the beginning we're really hitting the ground running in 2024 with our wedding planning um as i mentioned no idea when the next wedding video will be out because we kind of have to get organized and figure out you know what order we're doing things in and what we're gonna share and all of that but I will definitely be keeping you guys in the loop. I'm also gonna be posting tons of wedding content on TikTok, so feel free to take a look over there. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next Friday for another new vlog. Yeah.